Let's analyze the first step of my investigation. In my opinion, myths often contain encoded memories of real historical events, especially when combined with scientific data and placed in chronological order. According to this introduction, I found three basic epochs in the last 100,000 years characterized the evolution of the lost cultures. 75, 70,000 uh, years ago, the Toba supervolcano eruption. This Indonesian eruption caused the global volcanic winter, and according to anthropologists, a genetic bottleneck human population. The 36400 before Christ is the Zeptepi, according to the Egyptian mythology. And the Zeptepi represents the rise of a new order, a new world dominated by the demigods until the first dynasty of the pharaohs. And then 10,500 10, before Christ, the Great Flood. This epoch marks the end of the civilization of the gods and the start of a new era. Survivors of the cataclysm form the basis for future, future civilizations like the Sumerian and the Egyptians. To understand ancient myth, I believe uh, we have to look to the paleomagnetism and the Pleistocene climate dynamics. Paleomagnetism research reveals the Earth's geographical axis as naturally oscillated. Myths speaking of words overturned or lost directions could encode ancestral memories of such geophysical transformations, reflecting cosmic disorder or re reversed seasons. In this case, the Egyptian papyri, like the Hermitage or Ipwond papyri, may manifest these ancient records. And the final Pleistocene epoch saw intense glaciation and abrupt climatic fluctuations. Many myths of destructions, floods, and rebirths resonate with this period. Now, let's expand on paleomagnetism's role in understanding Earth's history. This field reconstructs Earth's geological past, providing objective data on its magnetic field and geophysical axis stability. Crucially, current evidence show Earth's axis has remained stable within its natural oscillation range for millions of years, even after the Topa supervolcano eruption. This contradicts hypotheses of dramatic ge geographical axial, axial shifts, like those suggested for the North Pole in North America, which lack scientific support. Recognizing this distinction is vital. It allows us to separate scientifically validated geophysical events from speculative reconstructions, grounding our interpretation of ancient myths and empirical evidence. When tracing ancient memories through myth, we encounter theories like Charles Hapgood's uh, Earth crust displacement hypothesis. Hapgood proposed Earth's outer crust could rapidly swift over its mantle drastically. This theory is sometimes used to explain myths like Atlantis, suggesting a physical mechanism for sudden landmass land changes. Current ge geological data shows no substantial evidence for a rapid crustal displacement within the past 100,000 years. And such a massive shift would require immense external force, large, uh, like a large celestial impact. So my uh, task is to carefully analyze this myth, distinguishing between poetic narratives and plausible scientific explanation. Moreover, this theory conflicts with the main base of geology, that is to say, the continental drift and tectonic plate. Myths like Plato's Atlantis might, might hold fragments of shared ancient memory. Uh, Plato describes Atlantis as an advanced civilization destroyed by floods. And this idea seems to align with the text of, of Edfu, for example, the creation text, which describe a primordial island 
and a, a devastating flood that scattered divine knowledge. The enigmatic emerald tablets attributed to Toth further resonate with this describing a lost homeland. Despite uncertain origins, their content remind the Plato and Nedfu text, suggesting continuity of archetypal themes, destruction, survival, migration, and knowledge transmission. When considering myth of submerged lands like Atlantis, we must evaluate what cataclysm events could have caused such inundations. Large-scale volcanic activity uh, offer a plausible scenario. This event can unfold gradually enough for observation as some limited response aligning with myth where warnings and migration precede disaster. Therefore, for myths depicting warnings and migration before floods or land disappearance, prolonged ge geological events like significant volcano volcanic activity leading to tsunamis provide a more consistent framework for how such memories and warnings could have been preserved. 